Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Mystery Miners program, where we explore some of the world's most unresolved mysteries and conspiracies. This time, we will be discussing about the tomb of King Casimir, one of the most famous curses in the world. So let's keep watching. When we talk about tomb curses, we would first think of the Egyptian king Tutankhamun back in 1922. However, after the discovery of a tomb in Poland in the 1970s, they were able to find a curse that was similar to when they found a curse during the excavation of Tutankhamun's tomb. So yes, we will now start discussing about King Casimir's tomb curse. King Casimir was born on November 30th, 1427, the third and youngest child of King Władysław II Jagiero and his fourth wife Sofia of Helsinki. In 1440, 13-year-old King Casimir was named mayor of Lithuania and succeeded to the Polish throne in 1447. King Casimir is known as one of the most successful and politically active men in Polish history. He was able to make Polish economically successful on all fronts, military-wise, economics-wise, and all else. As a result, King Casimir was considered one of the greatest kings in Polish history, and the Jagieron dynasty was incorporated into the European royal family. During the reign of King Casimir, Poland became one of the richest countries in Europe. Even though the great king had achievements and titles to his name, King Casimir unfortunately died at his castle on June 7, 1492, at the age of 65. After the king's death, his funeral was held in Poland, Wawel Royal Castle in the south, and the remains were buried in a simple wooden coffin with wrapped precious textiles buried with him. The people who buried him were deeply worried about the corpse rotting, so they decided to sprinkle kelk all over the corpse. Efforts were made to excavate the royal tomb in 1973, when Poland was a socialist country and was not allowed to explore. As a result, various negotiations have been underway for the access to the site, but it has been exciting time for archaeologists. One of the major contributors to the excavation at the time was Karol Wojtyla, Archbishop of Krakow, who was studying King Casimir and a few years later became Pope John Paul II. The tomb was unearthed on April 13, 1973, and it was hoped that the king's body would be found in its original state. Because during World War II, the Russians looted the tombs of other royal families in Poland. The king's body was buried in the royal cathedral at Wawel Castle, and much care was taken during the search. News of the search spread to the Polish press at the time, and people feared that it would be the same as it was during the excavation of King Tutankhamun's tomb. However, the explorers saw the curse as a joke and were not afraid. The excavation took place and in the casket, the remains containing King Casimir's body were found. And a few days later, a fear that everyone was dreading came to be true. As expected, four people involved in the excavation died of stroke and infection. In the following years, at least 15 of those who came in contact with King Casimir's remains in the cemetery and those involved in the lab died of various cases. At the time, word spread that those who disturbed the king's peace were in danger and that it was a curse. A few years later, it is said that scientists discovered the exact cause of the deaths of at least 15 people that were involved in the excavation of this tomb. This is because King Casimir's tomb, similar to that of the Egyptian tombs, contains the deadly fungus Asparagulus flavus, which is known to infect mammals and humans. It can cause asthma and allergies. Two other fungi, Penicillin rubrum and Penicillin rugulosum, were also found in King Casimir's grave that can produce aflatoxin that can kill anybody who inhales it in an instant.
Following the incident, the remains of King Casimir were buried in the original tomb. Even after learning the answer to this curse, tour guides continue to talk about the king who does not like his silence to be disturbed. Some have suggested that the fungus could not easily take the lives of at least 15 people and that there is an unsolved truth behind these incidents and that there may be a curse on King Casimir's tomb like the King Tutankhamun of Egypt. What are your thoughts and feelings about the curse? Please share your thoughts down in the comment box. Lots of thanks for all your continued support.